Break the back of it! So, Chris Joe Bob loves breakfast for dinner. Absolutely love it. But sometimes, you want something that is palate just right. You don't want anything too hot, per se. You know, on a steaming plate and sit down and you finish it. You want to wrap it up to go. So, I love a breakfast burrito. Great breakfast burrito. It takes a little time to make. Not a lot of time, but a little time. But a good breakfast burrito goes the wrong way. So, what we're going to do here is I've taken out enough eggs for two, three, four, five, six, seven, no wait, no, that was hard boiled, that was hard boiled. Okay, I took out six eggs. And those six eggs are for three people. Two eggs per person, that's usually where I go. Now, Chris Joe Bob can't crack an egg off of the counter. Some people can do it, Chris Joe Bob cannot. I do not have this skill set. I usually use the edge of something to do it. The other option is you can use knife. I'm going to use a knife for demonstration purposes here today. So we're just going to do this. You crack it like that. You go like that. Pour it in. Throw the egg to the side. You just keep going along like that. Don't worry about it if it breaks or anything like that. Thank you for the egg. Now we're going to be mixing all these up. So you know you can pour the slather front and fetch it. Make it look like it's all beat up and whatnot. The important thing is don't get eggshell in it. You don't want eggshell in it. Alright. Now, the reason I'm using such a big bowl here is because of how much we're doing here. Normally, I'd use a smaller bowl, but that's not the case. Now, you previously heard me mention about whisking and how you do it with a fork. That's all the way here. Hold on a second. Whiskey or whiskey? Whiskey. Whiskey. Is that a type of whiskey? No, 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 no whiskey. Alright. No whiskey free. Alright. Moving on. Now, fresh squeezed lemon is always the best. You can't be nicely fresh squeezed lemon. But, this goes a long way. A very long way. And it's easy to just do a couple squirts in here. Now, usually I do a couple squirts for like four eggs. So we're going to do like a triplet of squirts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I like putting lemon in there. Why do I put lemon in there? I don't know. It makes it taste fresh. There's just something about when you add the lemon, it tastes really good. Now, here's the thing you have to remember. You add a lemon. Now, I'm about to add whipping cream. Okay? Now, this is specifically whipping cream, not milk. I don't like using milk in here. When you use milk, all it does water down doesn't add any flavor. We use whipping cream. Makes the eggs a little thicker, I find. And it adds some flavor. But you don't need a lot. You just sploosh it in. Just enough. You don't want to overly, overly do it. If you do it too much, it dilutes you too much, and then it takes too long to cook and it's annoying. Now, while you're doing all this, the smart thing to do is to start preheating the oven. Now, I personally am an idiot, and I forgot to do it, so I'm doing it right now. I'm reheating the oven, and what's going to happen is Pie Smitty is going to go get us the large pan and the small pan, and he's going to put the cream away for us while I whisk up these eggs. Now, don't leave the milk for too long. Or the cream, sorry. Don't leave the whipping cream for too long in with the lemon juice because it can curdle. You gotta be careful. It's in there. It is in there, yeah. It is definitely down there in the hard spot, hard to get spot. I need the big copper one and I need the smaller, weird textured one. I don't know. It's called stoneware, I think. Is this the big copper one? It's the big copper one. Here's my big copper one. This one, is this the one that you meant? No, no, that's a pond. Sorry. Now I hand me a pond called Japan. Oh, At least it's black, so it was a pond. It could be called Japan. You said it was weird. I think it looked weird. So it, it's a normal round one. It's, it's got a weird hitch. 
Sausages per person. So once again, we're doing six. So we're going to do six sausages. Now there's four. One, two, three, four. Five or six. Now remember, wash your hands after you handle the eggs. Wash your hands now that you've handled the sausage. Cross contamination is not something that is hate lightly. Make people sick with that stuff. He's not wrong. Hygiene is very important. Alright, now, you gotta make sure you keep an eye on the sausages. Because otherwise, you're gonna end up small, shriveled, and burnt like prickly here. Pies mitten. Pissy? Well, that looks pissy enough. It does kind of have a weird, like, pissy like texture looking quality to it, doesn't it? Your piss likes like that, go see a doctor. There's no problem here. It should not look like that. That's that, that's a bad color, and that's really sick. That should be some other. It's even worse if it looks brown. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Robert Pop Pussy. Pie pie's mitting. Asking you to subscribe to Patreon.com/slash Chris Joe Bob. This is Robert Pye Smitty the second saying Why do you have Why Lord Why have you forsaken me?